All right, uh, today I'm going to go ahead and we're going to show you how I like to uh, process and slaughter a quail. Today we've got a uh, problem with the Turner's quail hen who's decided to go rogue and wants to attack all their other cage mates. And uh, usually what you do in that situation is you remove her for a couple weeks and then put them back in so they're on the bottom of the pecking chain. And usually that'll solve the problem nine times out of ten, but I've tried this about three times so far with this one in particular bird. and. Just doesn't want to get straight, so apparently she's got a couple of loose screws in her head now. So uh, right now I'm going to go ahead and grab the bird. I mean, whether it's a bird or any other animal you're going to slaughter, your biggest thing is you want to keep the animal as calm as possible. Give it the uh, best taste. You don't want the adrenal glands to let go and uh, add an unpleasant taste to the meat. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and grab the bird now, and then we'll get started. There you go. Here's the uh, Caternus quail hen. As you can see, got her somewhat decently calm. So, my preferred method is just to uh, take a pair of scissors and you want to get it back as far back and to have the most torque. You want to do it as quick and uh, painlessly as possible. So, here we go. And now you just want to go ahead and let it bleed out. The muscles are going to flap around, of course. After you let it bleed out a little bit, then we're going to get to the processing of it. Mainly what I like to do here is just uh, let the muscles calm down, make it a little easier when processing it, but every now and then when you're cleaning it you'll hit a couple tendons or whatnot and make it want to jump around some. There goes the chicken with no head response. I think we're uh, about at a good point now. I like to start with uh, cutting the feet off. And then I'll move on up to the wings, cut them off right at the body. Now, what you want to do is just uh, pull back a little of the feathers right here around the chest area and then once you get in there you can get a good grip on the skin and it'll just rip off really easily some people like to pluck them but I prefer to just go ahead and take all the skin off myself once you get started it's pretty easy from there on out Unlike uh, Bob White's, these Caternus quail are a little more of a darker meat. They're not a white meat like Bob White is. Uh, honestly, I prefer Bob White's myself. But, I mean, this bird will surely go to good use and we'll get to the dinner plate. It really reminds me of uh, doves a whole lot, the way these taste. Now there's two, two ways you can do this right here. All depends on what kind of mood I'm in or how I'm feeling. But one way is you can go ahead and see right here at the bottom of the breast. You can just stick your finger in there, pull it back, and that'll rip the breast off. And then you can just go ahead from there and cut the legs off. But uh, today I'm going to show you a way that I found out a while back that it's pretty easy and foolproof, especially if it's the first time you're doing it. And what you want to do is come here in between the neck in the breast, take the scissors, stick them in there, cut down along one, one side of the spine, all the way down to where the uh, tail feathers would be. And then you want to do that on the other side as well, right on the other side of the spine, come on down. And at this point, you can just go ahead and grab that, and then pull it, and then as you see, all the innards fall right on out. Get the gizzard. That way is a pretty easy way to get all the insides to come out really quick and easily. As you see, everything's out now. So what I want to do is come on down here to this bottom area, and you just need to cut that spot off. Hopefully my hand's not in the way too much so you can see this pretty good. 
And at this point now, you've got a uh, fully cleaned bird ready to go. Everything cleaned out. So the next step is going to be go ahead and uh, take it inside, rinse it off. Then what I like to typically do is I'll soak it in a little bit of salt water for about four, five, six hours or so. And then at that point, I then take the bird out, put it in a bag with no water, and then I do what you call resting the meat. Let it sit in the refrigerator or a cool place and just a bag with no water for a day to two days or so and that'll go ahead and tenderize the meat some and uh, bring the flavor out a little better in it. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you got any questions uh, feel free to ask.